ट So this might not seem like much but if you consider it for a month it adds up to a lot. So we get 5 shinoites daily in the present box when we log in and 5 from daily achievements. So total 10 in a day. So in one month if we take 30 days so 10 into 30 is 300 shinoites. Just by logging in and doing daily achievements you get 300 shinoites every month. It's that easy. So number 2 is assault missions. So we get these assault mission twice a month. Once during team attack mission like right now we have six path assault solo and team battle if you complete them once you get 60 from solo battles and 45 from team battles which adds up to 105 shinoites and along with this there is a limited time achievement from these as well if you play solo and team battle expert and advance a certain number of times you get 30 shinoites from here so from one shinobi assault mission total we get 135 shinoites Now we get one more assault mission during Sam. Uh, when Sam is going on, we have one more Shinobi assault mission. So 135 again. So total from assault mission in one month we get 270 Shinoites, which brings the total up to 570 Shinoites. So number three we have roundup missions. So we get roundup mission every month, and from the solo battles we get 55 Shinoites, and from team battle we get 65 Shinoites. Also there is a limited time achievement for roundup which gives a total of 50 shinoites if you complete them so from roundup you get total of 170 shinoites which makes the total 740 shinoites so number 4 is login bonus now there are a couple of login bonus every month which give shinoites so we can assume a total of at least 100 shinoites from login bonus like roundup login bonus and other events if there are any in the month so now the total is 840 shinoites so number 5 is the most important which is weekly league rewards now since you don't have to be in top 50 anymore to get these rewards just grind 2400 honor points once and every monday you will get 200 shinoites i know the honor points decrease by 100 which you can easily get back by winning 7 solo attack missions so every monday in gokunin you get 200 shinoites so for 4 weeks a month which gives a total of 800 shinoites per month which brings the total to 1640 shinoites along with that you also get attack mission tickets which can be used to summon on the banner which can give you some good cards of shinobis now many of you say that we lose most of the times because we don't have high power shinobis or good supports so i would strongly suggest that you skip the high power bases like if you see some good defenders in a base with high power then your shinobis skip it and if the skips are over then kill the game start again attack low powered bases only if you have trouble winning against high powered shinobis now if you manage to reach gokunin do at least 2600 honor points in that way even if you lose in defense you will have enough to compensate for gokunin by monday so number 6 is sam points reward so if you just do 277k points you get 100 shinobis as reward which is very easily attainable just join someone's expert or master room two or three times and also if you are able to do top 1k rank in sam then you also get 100 shinobis as well but let's assume not everyone can do under 1k rank so we will only consider the 100 shinobis from points reward which anyone can get i'm sure which brings the total to 1740 shinobis so number 7 we have guild wars rank rewards so we have guild wars every month so basically if your guild comes between 201 to 350 rank you get 200 shinobis which is very cool and if your guild is higher in rank then you get more but let's consider under 350 so all members get 200 shinobites and to be under rank 350 your guild have to win like approx 100 matches a day during attack period so even if every member of the guild wins 5 solo matches in a day of attack period your guild will be in top 350 i'm sure so which brings a total shinobite to 1940 shinobites so coming on to the last which is number 8 surprise attack mission guild rank 
So basically same amount of Shinovites as Guild Wars ranking. If your guild gets in top 350, every member gets 200 Shinovites after the same ends, which brings a total of 2140 Shinovites. Now I said 2200 but you get the idea that I am considering a very reasonable rank in all the events. For Sam even if you don't have unit, just use the special Shinobi and join your guild members room. Maybe your, your rank might not get good but if you play in a team of 2 or more members with Sam special Shinobi, your guild get 24 points per match, an expert and master. So 100 matches like that in a day will give you a, a total of 24,000 guild points by the end of Sam that is in 10 days which should be enough to be in top 350 I think. Now most importantly even if you manage to get 2200 Shinovites every month, the key is to uh, save them and don't blindly summon on every single character. I always say wait for Sam day, you will have two banners to choose from during surprise attack mission. Always watch videos and talk to other players in community to find out which Shinobi is the MVP for Sam and worth your Shinovites. If you do this, you will have 2200 Shinovites every month from zero Shinovites. Also if you don't summon on any banner in a month, you will have more for the next month. Don't spend Shinovites on every single banner, as a F2P, you cannot afford to summon on every banner. Play smartly. Now many of you might not have a good guild, so if you are looking for a good guild, I will leave a link in the description for the main discord server. There you have a guild recruitment channel which have many posts from good guilds, you can contact them and from there you can join the guilds. So I hope you guys find this video useful. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any question, do comment down below. You can check out my social medias, all links are in description. I will see you next time. Sayonara.